It's been a while since we heard the crack of a bat, the blast of a horn, or the collision of pads. And with good reason, the return of major contact sports is on a mysterious timetable due to COVID-19. Except in the Ozarks. Right now today, we found a, a chunk of grass, had some fellas that wanted to get after and compete, and some fans that wanted to come have a good time. That's right, while the NFL and NCAA are just beginning to open facilities on a limited basis, full contact football is happening right here in our area. We know that there are a lot of guys right now uh, with programs that aren't in leagues uh, due to the COVID-19 crisis. So if we got an opportunity to play a non-sanctioned, just an exhibition scrimmage against another quality program, we're just happy to do it. Caleb Scott is owner, coach, and player for the Queen City Insane Asylum, a semi-pro football team based out of Springfield. Originally kind of started back in August with some tryouts. And so for the last six, seven months, we've worked pretty hard to uh, put a pretty efficient program in place to be competitive in this state and the states around us. The Insane Asylum are in their first year as members of the Impact Developmental Football League. But since Greene County and the city have stricter social distancing guidelines, the team is instead playing exhibition games like this one in Fordland. Though they are still taking some precautions to limit potential spreading of the COVID-19 virus. We supply hand sanitizer um, and masks for our officiating crew on the sideline and for each players. We also give masks as an option for all the fans that come through the door. Uh, we did just debut these new Queen City face masks uh, for our football program as well. Still the full contact action and lack of social distancing were clear deviations from encouraged health and safety tips. But Scott defends the event, saying it was voluntary and something he believes his team and community wanted. I feel like right now, a lot of our community is super defeated about not having anything to be a part of. This is something that kind of allows them to still participate in social distancing and the things that um, like this, the city and the, the state government has mandated, uh, but also be allowed to come out as a community and enjoy football together. And while colleges and professionals continue to side with caution, football in Fordland may be some of the only contact sports action in the country. In Fordland, Matt Vereen, Ozarks First.